So I'm not going to do that. Uh, I'm not going to watch it with an audience. I'm, that's a horrific idea. Uh, hearing their uh, approval or disapproval and potential disapproval is a terrifying thought. So I'm going to go and have a nice dinner somewhere while the audience are watching it. I've seen it twice. So. What for you was really the most exciting part about making this movie? Um, getting to show the Horde who really believe in the beast and they believe in him like a, a, a religious figure, almost like a, a religious icon. Um, Exploring their doubts and their shaken faith uh, is it was pretty interesting because they were they believed so hard in the last one. The last one was all about you believe whatever you think you are, whatever you believe you are, and then we shake that belief in this movie. And that was interesting. Talk about being able to share this film with Bruce Willis and Daniel. Those guys, you know, they're, they're they're not just stars. They're they're stars for decades, and they're stars when I was a kid. And I was watching them when I was still, my brain was still forming, do you know what I mean? So I was a different relationship to working with people, my contemporaries, you know? Um, they're not just senior because they are older, they're senior because they're the ranking officers on deck. And you've got to defer to that. You still do your gig and you've got to still do your, do your job and, and, and rock it when it's time to rock it, but they're the senior officers. How does this film change? The way we view the superhero genre. I don't know that it does. I just think it's a different tone. I think we've been getting, we've watched a lot of movies about superheroes. And, you know, a lot of them been different, but this one's a really different tone, a really different lens, a really different approach. I don't know if it redefines anything. It's just a different level of um, discussion about superheroes. I don't know why I said it. Hey, you too. I saw the CBS 